Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about all of my annotated books. I am really excited to actually talk about all of these books, so I hope you guys are excited for this video, and let's just get right on into it. I considered leaving this first book in this first series out of this video, but then I thought, then I'd just be like leaving it out and it's part of the list, so I'm just going to quickly go over it and then not mention it, and you guys will see why in a second. But I've annotated the entire Harry Potter series, so obviously JK Rowling, not a great person. I'm really trying to make a conscious effort to not talk about Harry Potter on my channel anymore. I still love it and I'm gonna enjoy it privately. I just don't really want to be promoting it on my channel anymore. That's just not something that I want to do because of JK Rowling and the terrible person that she is. But to be true to what this video is, I gotta mention it real quick. So I annotated the entire Harry Potter series. I had a really good time doing it, especially this first book was the most fun I feel like. And actually the very first book I ever annotated was The Deathly Hallows. And let me just find my favorite page in this book. Book. I basically just did like illustrations on like all the chapter headers. So like look how cute that is with all the Hogwarts letters. It's just really really cute and I had a good time. All seven books are annotated. Another one I'm gonna just quickly breeze over is Harriet History by Melissa Nelly. This is a book all about like the Harry Potter phenomenon and I really really enjoyed it. It does talk about JK Rowling a lot unfortunately so I don't know if I'll ever reread it. I did love this book. We ain't gonna talk about it. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is another one that I annotated. Didn't read Tab it for my first read through but I have a lot of annotations in this one as well. And let's just move on now. So the next book I'm going to talk about is Wonder by RJ Palacio. This is my favorite book of all time. So of course I had to annotate it. And also when I annotate books, it's typically on duplicate copies of the book. This is the movie tie-in edition. Here is the dust jacket. I have it displayed on my shelf without the dust jacket because I did this artwork on it. It's not my favorite. Kind of wish I did something different, but I basically just put a whole bunch of Wonder quotes on here. So we have choose kind. I won't describe what I look like. Whatever you're thinking is probably worse. Your deeds are your monuments. Sometimes you don't have to mean to hurt someone to hurt someone. Lots of different quotes on here. And then on the front here, I do have a little half drawing of Augie from the cover. So I want to do something on the back side. I think I want to do um, kind of like a flip side of this and do like a half face of Augie in his astronaut helmet. But I don't know if I can draw that. So I don't know. And then do like just one quote on the back. I'm not quite sure, but I do want to deface this book a bit more. And I've also done the blue sprayed painted edges and I wrote choose kind. An exciting thing, which I'm, it's not not complete but Peyton from Peyton Reads actually met RJ Palacio at Y'all Fest one year and she told her how much I loved her and how Wonder is my favorite book and how much it means to me because I was bullied as a kid. She literally offered so she's like oh do you want me to like say hi to her and take a picture? So she literally wrote hi Brittany on a sticky note and took a picture with Peyton. I'll insert the picture here because I do have it and I want to print that picture out and put it here and like write a little thing about it. I just haven't done that yet but Peyton sent me the sticky note and it's the cutest little thing and I've never been happier in my life. This book means the world to me. I basically highlighted the entire introduction by Stephen Chbosky because he directed the movie and there's just so so many annotations in this book and this book means the literal world to me I think I want to reread it soon because I haven't done my yearly reread yet and I don't know how that's happened I just I love this book with my entire being if you ever ask me what my favorite book is this will always be my go-to answer it is just the cutest most heartwarming book ever and I always have such a good time annotating it so this was my favorite the next two books I'm going to talk about are Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda and Leah on the Offbeat both by Becky Albertalli. This is my original copy of Simon Versus, but I've since bought a hardcover, which I didn't want to annotate, so I annotated this one. It's chock full of tabs, and I've also annotated this one three times already. And every time I do a different annotation, I try to do it in a different color. So this one has blue annotations, it has red annotations, and it has black annotations. This is one of my favorite books of all time, and so I always have such a fun time annotating it and making little jokes. Something that I love doing with Simon Verse books is anytime Martin Addison is mentioned. I always reference him as monkey's asshole because that's how Simon has him in his contacts on his phone. Anytime Martin is mentioned, I write monkey's asshole and it just, it brings me a little bit of joy. And then I annotated Lee on the offbeat. I, I recently reread it and rereading my annotations for my first read was kind of interesting because I kind of felt different about some of it and it was just kind of really interesting to see how I felt about it the first read. When Martis and Addison is mentioned in this one for the first time, I said, oh, Martin and Addison, we meet again. And I just, I find myself really funny. So I have such a fun time annotating these books because Becky Abertali is such a comic genius and I really like just like playing off of her jokes and making my own jokes. Plus this one in particular, not this one, super spoon worthy and I love just fangirling over everything. There's also a lot of good quotes in actually both of these that I really enjoy and parts that I relate to. This one is always such a fun time to annotate and to read and I love it a lot. Plus look how satisfying that is. There are so many tabs in there. I just, I love touching this book. 
Is that weird? I don't know. So another one that I annotated was The Dark Vault by Victoria Schwab. This is the bind up of the archived and the unbound. I was expecting this one to be like a lot of fun to annotate and not like it wasn't. And there are so many good quotes and good moments that I highlighted but my favorite part about annotating is making comments and I just didn't find myself having that many comments to make. So this one I think is definitely more heavily highlighted than annotated and even then there's not that many annotations in this one so that was kind of disappointing but this one was still really fun. I love these books to death. It's still fun to look at all of my tabs in there and just kind of flip through and I am excited to reread these one day and read my annotations because that's one of the best parts about annotating books is being able to reread them and kind of seeing how you were feeling when you were annotating it and how you connected to that book. It's just it's really really fun. I really enjoy it. Okay so the next three books that I have to talk about are all part of a series and it is The Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins. They're all heavily heavily tabbed and I think this is one of the most fun times I've ever had annotating a series because I made so many jokes and guys when I tell you that most of the time half of the orange funny tabs in my books are because I make myself laugh it's kind of insane I was telling one of my friends about it and she was like do you just sit there laughing at yourself as you read and I'm like yes Yes, I do. Specifically with The Hunger Games, I made so many funny jokes. Let me just see if I can find some because I am hilarious. Okay, so there's the line where Katniss is like getting dressed for the day and she says, I swing my legs off the bed and slide into my hunting boots. Supple leather that has molded to my feet. I pull on trousers, a shirt, tuck my long dark braid up into a cap and grab my forage bag. And then I put, what kind of psycho puts boots on before their pants? And this is the thing that a lot of people have talked about. It's just so weird. Oh, and then Hamish is giving them some advice and he said, here's some advice, stay alive. And then I put, excellent, I'm sure that never crossed their minds. Like, just like little, like, sarcastic, like, jabs at the characters like that make me laugh a lot. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm just, like, laughing at my own annotations. <laughs> Oh, and then there's some, like, electric field put on the roof of the training building or whatever so that they can't jump off. And then Katniss says, always worried about our safety. And then I put, of course, imagine how tragic it would be if you died before they could make a show of murdering you. <laughs> and then the one that sticks out to me the most that I don't know where it is in the book. Okay, I don't know. There's a part where Katniss goes to find Peta in the arena and I was just like, yes, let's go get this bread. Because his name's Peta. <laughs> so let's go get this bread. Okay, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll let myself out. <laughs> but yeah, this series is just so much fun to annotate. Like I said, I just made so many jokes to myself, um, and also it's just a really fun series. It's a fun series as they're just kids murdering each other. Wow, pretty. okay. It was just really, really fun, especially since I hadn't read these books in years, and so the first time that I was reading them in years, I was annotating it. Just kind of really enhanced the experience, and let me tell you guys, annotating 100% enhances an experience reading a book. It just makes it 10 times more fun, and I cannot wait to, to reread these books and read all the annotations again, because like I've said, that's my favorite part. So the next book that I annotated was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is one of the only ones that I've annotated and not tabbed, and I think it's because I just didn't want to wreck the green sprayed edges on this one but maybe in the future I'll go back and end up tabbing it. This is one of my absolute favorite books of all time because it deals with anxiety and this was I think the first book I ever read that featured anxiety and it kind of really opened up my eyes to what I was experiencing. I didn't really know that what I was experiencing in my day-to-day -day life was anxiety. I thought it was just shyness or just the way that I was. I didn't understand that I actually had like a mental illness and it was anxiety. This book just gave me something to relate to and just made me feel a little bit better and made me feel like I wasn't so alone which I really really appreciated and I just I really love the story a lot and so when Julia bought me this copy for Christmas I knew that I had to annotate it and it just there were so many parts that I related to and that really hit me and I just oh, I love this book so much I had such a good time rereading it and annotating it and there's a lot of cute moments as well as like actual like good quotes and things that affected me and it's just it's such a good book I really really love it I, I always have such a good a meaningful time annotating my favorite books and so this one was really really fun to do in particular and then I also did Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This one has a lot of stuff in it, a lot of fangirling moments obviously because Simon and Baz are so freaking adorable but I had a really good time annotating this one. I do really love this book but I feel like I loved it a little bit less during my reread and I don't know why. I do really enjoy this book and annotating it. It was a fun time still and just oh, re-experiencing Simon and Baz. 
gorgeous. The next book is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. So this is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. Upon rereading the book, I don't like the book as much as the movie. It's very unfortunate, but I still do love this book and it does still have a lot of great quotes in it and a lot of sad stuff. I didn't highlight this one just because it has really thin pages and I didn't want to bleed through too much. But if I ever reread this book, I think I will highlight just because it's... It's so lackluster just seeing the tabs in here and not any highlights. It's so sad. But there were a lot of parts in this book that I relate to or that kind of hit me hard. Feelings of like loneliness and, and sadness I really related to. And I do really love this book. So when I reread it, I definitely will be adding upon these annotations. And I think just saying screw it and highlighting it, even though the pages are quite thin and see-through. But honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> I'll still be able to read it and that's all that really matters. The next one is The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabriel Zevin. Love this book with my entire being. I just completely completely connected to the story with being a book lover and this book centering around books a lot but there were a lot of lines and quotes in here that I really really connected to and I made a lot of annotations talking about why I connected to it and I feel like this is one of the ones that I've gotten the most deep with within myself and like wrote actual meaningful things in the book and I remember sending things to Peyton and Julia as I was reading and just being like oh my god guys this book really really hit me in these moments but I really really love this book and I think more people should read it and I had such a good time annotating it and I do really connect to the story and there were some moments in this book that I completely forgot about and I don't know how I forgot about them but as I was rereading and I like came to these moments I was like how how did this happen and I not remember that's how bad my memory is like a huge thing happened in this and I did not remember so that was quite interesting to like reread it and annotate it when like as this was happening I was like oh my god how did I forget this happened it's such a good book and I highly recommend that you guys pick it up as well then we have To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han this is one of my favorite contemporaries of all time it's just a really lighthearted, fun quick and easy contemporary that's just really easy to fly through I also annotated with a pink pen in this one sometimes I try to match my pens to the book and so I use a pink pen which is really really fun to like look into and see but this book is so adorable that it was just so much fun to annotate and kind of mark up all these favorite and cute moments and it was just I had a really good time with this one as well this next book is one of my favorite books to annotate I had such a good time annotating it but that is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green this one was when I was using my old tabs so I don't even use these tabs anymore I think I started using new ones right after this but I had so much fun with this one because this was one of the first times that I actually started to doodle within the book because there's so much imagery in this book and so many things in this book that I knew that I could draw and so I was like yes I'm gonna draw in this book and I had literally such a fun time just like grabbing some pencil crayons and just like drawing in. I have a whole annotation flip through of this video that you guys can go check out in the cards if you want to but let me just show you some of my favorites I guess. So there is a little swing set right here from when they are trying to sell the sad swing set in Hazel's backyard on eBay or whatever. I have a little Christmas tree right here if you guys know the meaning behind Christmas tree in this book book. You'll know. <laughs> so sad. My absolute favorite page is this one. The quote is, come quickly, I am tasting the stars. And then also, we've bottled all the stars this evening, my young friend. So it's when they're drinking champagne in Amsterdam. So I drew two cute little champagne glasses, and then I put stars all around the page because they are tasting the stars. And just, oh, look how cute that is. It's my favorite. I had a lot of fun doing this. I was actually doing this in art class when I should be doing my art project, and my teacher yelled at me, but it's fine. It's just so cute, and I just had the best time annotating this book. So the the next one is Unite Me by Tahada Mafi. These are the first two novellas for the Shadow Me series, Destroy Me and Fracture Me. So I kind of just annotated this like kind of on a whim. I do have all the paperback books here except for the last two books that I want to annotate so I figured I might as well just go in for it. So I did. I didn't tab it when I was annotating. These were my original tabs for my very first read so these don't match my annotations but I had a really good time annotating this one. Again I made lots of jokes to myself that I thought were really funny. There's a part where Warner is shortless and I made a little joke about him being shirtless so it's a part where Juliet is like staring at him without his shirt on and I said I wish I could stare at him without a shirt on but alas he is fictional and I can't stare at him at all I just really like making jokes to myself and I vividly remember annotating this and Lorena was over and we were both sitting in my bed I was on one end she was on the other and I was just here writing that and just giggling to myself because I'm ridiculous and I I think that I'm the funniest person in my life so I had a really good time with this one and I can't wait to annotate the rest of the series and hopefully have an equally fun time annotating those I have also annotated Geekerella by Ashley Poston this one was really fun as well loads of tabs in this one one of my favorite parts to annotate was the acknowledgements because these are my favorite 
acknowledgements to ever exist. But this book is just a, such a cute book and there's so much to it that it was just so much fun to annotate. There's a lot of annotations in here. I definitely recommend that you guys read it and it was just such a fun one to annotate. And the next one is one that I do need to re-tab because I haven't tabbed it since my first read, but that is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. So this one was again with those original tabs I used to use, but then I ran out. So I started just to use a blue post-it tab that I would rip up and put in here. So I definitely need to redo that because when they're on the page, they hide part of the text and that's not conducive. I had to take them out and put them back in. So I'm definitely going to be retabbing this the next time I read it. But this is again, one of my favorite books. And so it's just so much fun to annotate. And there's a lot of things that I related to. Um, a lot of amazing quotes within this book and cute moments. And I just, I had such a good time with this one. I'm sounding like a broken record at this point. I just, I had fun with all of these. Okay. It's, it's a fun time. Then the next one that I annotated was I'll Be There For You, The One About Friends by Kelsey Miller. Guys, I love this book with my entire heart. This one's about the friends phenomenon and kind of everything thing about when the show was being created and everything like that which is just so interesting for me to read about because I didn't know practically anything about Friends and the like the actual creation of the show. This is definitely I think my favorite nonfiction book and all these things in here by the way are for um, illustrations that I'm adding to the book. I just haven't finished defacing the book yet. I tabbed it. I love it. I have so many annotations in here and I had such a fun experience reading it. I learned so much from this book and I also annotated this on my first read through. So in the front here I have like an index of all my annotations what they mean because for nonfiction I changed it slightly. I wrote the friends logo up here on the table of contents and then there's like different things that I was doing. So for like all like the chapter headers I guess I'm doing like a coffee mug. For all the parts I was doing the yellow frame. I love this book. It was super super fun to annotate and I just had a really good time. Like genuinely such a good time doing this book. I think those are all the books that I've annotated. I love annotating books so so much. I'm gonna be making a video soon of all the books that I still want to annotate that I own so look out for that in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Comment down below if you guys annotate your books and kind of how you go about doing that. Maybe what your favorite book is that you've annotated. Let me know. Subscribe if you have not yet already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!